So this is um, no blow up. I am not enlarging this. 1920 by 1200. Well, if I don't blow it up, I have that much space to work with, which doesn't seem too bad in a classroom. And so let's say um, I have 10 people, and that one I missed, people. I'm putting my palm on the display and doesn't seem to react even if I rub on my palm doesn't seem to pick that up which I like I have 10 people well let's say I want to erase this all right all right let's erase that let's say um, uh, for males right the population uh, for height is uh, 71 inches, let's pretend. Now again, this is not blown up. With standard deviation of, let's say, 5 inches. Now let's make this easier. Let's say 70 inches. Okay, so... So here, again, this... I would like to write underneath what is the probability that X is greater than or equal to 75 where X is the height of males. A little lag there. Now I'm gonna now I'm gonna blow it up to two hundred percent. So I'm gonna grab a line here. Again I'm, I'm my palm is on the iPad Pro. I can draw not too bad. I'm not going to erase that. There we go. Kind of. So here, at 200%, I'm going to pinch back 70. So mu is equal to 70. And again, I'm touching the screen with my palm. Sigma was 5 inches. I'm going back and forth in terms of scaling. 5. And this is x for the random variable. And then, of course, <clears throat> we want to know at 75, right? I'm going to choose a different color. I'm going to use um, two points, orange, the, the uh, fountain pen. See how that draws it. Not bad. How's that smeared look? So, <clears throat> we got... Um, 75, right? So we want to know what the probability is. It's greater than 75. So we're going to have to change this to a Z value. X minus mu over sigma. There is some lag there. That's 200%. Let's go to 300%. So Z is equal to X, which is 75, minus 70, divided by the sigma, which is 5. So I'm not in any I'm I'm not in any way considering if it's straight or not because I have my palm. You know, I'll, I'll see if I can move my the iPad. Again, this is the iPad Pro. Z is equal to what? Five divided by five, which is one. Okay, so I'm pinching back. I'll draw another line here. All right, I'll have a normal. <clears throat> this time, it's going to be the standard normal. I'm going to pinch to 300%. Z 
zero. Let's say this is one, this is two. You know, there's three over here. Um, let's pinch this, select this. Oops. Pinch this, select this, moving it over. Done. <clears throat> let's erase this. Maybe lower it down a little bit. This is three. Let's say this is negative one, negative two, negative three, well, sort of. And we can we can get the fountain pen. This time we'll use a yellow three point. And so I have to touch one, right, and then shade. It's not too bad. Um, now I'm going to try a different color. Uh, three points on the marker. Oh, let's say in red. So let's pretend that this was the area of, and I'm at, hmm, that was weird. I don't know where, where that dot came from. Let's say I'm at 300%, 310%. Let's say that area was um, 0 0.0, no, 0 0.0. Four, five, three, two. So at three hundred percent, with a with a point with a three marker size, that's too big. That look nice. Let's do again. I've been doing size two at three hundred percent. Also a little, little bit better. Let's say zero point four three two one. Again, there's a lag there. There's always been a lag. All right, fast. Let's pretend that's the case. So let's make black. I'm back at 130%. What's the probability that not X, but Z is greater than or equal to one? Well, that's equal to 0 0.5000 minus 0.4321. There's a slight lag at 130, at 400%, so let's see what happens. So I cancel this, that becomes a 4, 10, a 9, a 10, a 9, this becomes a 10, that's a 9, that's a 7, that's a 6, that's a 0, and then there's a point right here, right? So what is that value? Um, that would be this value. Right? Uh, this value right here. 0 0.0679, if we wanted to look for it, right? Again, this is fake. All these numbers are f totally incorrect. But you can, you can get a sense. I can take the circle, make a circle. I can get a square. I can make a square. I can erase these pretty easily with the pencil. Not a problem. Uh, again, I'm using the Apple Pencil as well. Uh, I don't know what this brush is. It's like, I'm not sure what that is. I've never used it before. I'll make it bigger. Oh, it's a brush. Oh, that's neat. pretty neat. And I'm at nine minutes almost. Spray can. How that works, never used it. Maybe make it bigger. That's a spray can for you. Marker with a certain type of edge. I'm going to change the color to like blue or pink. I mean, there's another marker. So, overall, a little laggy. I'm not connected to the projector. Um, not bad, actually. I wish it was a little bit faster. I'm pretty sure it can be optimized to be a bit faster. It does have, I mean, palm rejection, which I'm really happy. Right now I'm writing at 100%. Uh, what else can I do here? I think here's an arrow. That's pretty interesting, the arrows. And then you can write something next to it. Hello. Again, it's 
this is 420%, hello, uh, 240%, hello, I think that's pretty good, 300%, hello, little lag, not so much, another color, hello, all right, so that gives you a demonstration on using the pencil, the Apple Pencil, iPad Pro with the latest Osiri. Um, all right, thank you.